Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome to a brand new makeup transformation of someone from the ocean inspired by Disney's Moana. I decided to do a makeup of this princess because the movie was so cute and adorable. I absolutely love that Disney's becoming diverse with such cute characters that are of all different cultures. So today we're gonna turn into Moana and hopefully it comes out good. If you haven't seen this movie, you should definitely check it out. The songs are so catchy, Moana's so pretty, so let's see if we can turn into her today. First, I'm gonna put a wig cap on because sadly, I do not have Moana's long, gorgeous hair. And no, I am not naked. I do have a tube top on because we are gonna do body painting today of her outfit later, and I'm putting bobby pins in my wig cap, so when I wear her gorgeous wig of hair, it will stay in place. Now I'm gonna put on some primer to prep my skin for some foundation. First, I'm gonna use some orange corrector though because I have dark circles under my eyes and Princess Moana does not. And I'm gonna correct some redness around my face with some green corrector as well and then blend that all out with the Beauty Blender dupe. This one is by Sigma and it's one of my favorites of the Beauty Blender dupe family. Make sure that's all blended into your skin before getting some foundation. I am using my summer color of foundation. So it's what I look like when I'm tan. I use this for my Johnny Depp makeup transformation, but please do not use a foundation color if you're doing this makeup that's three shades darker than your natural color or anything like that because it is just not cool. But I'm just gonna put some of my natural skin tone concealer under my eyes and powder that down with some translucent powder on my Beauty Blender dupe. And you wanna powder down areas on your face that usually crease. But I'm just gonna put some natural concealer on my eyes to conceal my dark circles even further and powder that down with some translucent powder. And I'm powdering down my entire face in all areas that we're gonna blend some powders and other makeup, even down my neck and a little bit on my chest as well because we are gonna do body painting later and we don't want the body paints to be blending into our foundation color. And I'm gonna get some contour powder to contour my cheekbones and the sides of my forehead. Because the more you contour, it's gonna make our eyes look bigger even though I'm already wearing circle lenses. They're a little bit more green than brown but I really wanted her eyes to pop and look animated. And I'm also gonna contour my nose just to give it some definition so it doesn't look like it blends into my face. And we are gonna contour the corners of her eyes to make her eyes look even bigger with the same contour powder that we've been using on our face. Make sure that's all blended out before getting a blush color. You want a blush color that's more of a reddish berry color. On our cheeks, you could even go a little heavy on this, but just make sure it's blended into the skin and put a little bit on your nose before getting some dark brown cream paint with an angled brush to fill in our eyebrows. Moana has thicker eyebrows than I do, and I really want her eyebrows to look animated, so they are definitely gonna look more thicker than my natural brows look, but they do follow the shape of my natural brows. They just go a little bit higher and they're a lot darker so they look very dramatic than they actually probably are in person. Then I'm gonna get a black eyeliner pencil and then put that in the waterline of my eye. I'm also tight lining and darkening the upper inner eyelid as well. Then I'm gonna get a liquid black eyeliner and do a very small upper cat eye. Moana does not have extravagant eyeliner, but she has thicker lashes, so this is gonna give that illusion with this small cat eye, and once you're done with that, I'm gonna get my lip color. This is a very natural lip color that's a light pink, and it's a liquid lipstick that dries matte but looks a little bit more natural, and then I'm gonna get a liquid lip that's a little bit more mauvish brown than pink. Before getting an eyelash curler to curl our lashes to prep for some very natural false eyelashes that I'm gonna put on before putting on some mascara first, and then getting these false lashes from Red Cherry, any very natural false lash, even Ardell would work for this, with some clear lash glue. Again, you want these to look very natural and yet fluttery to have that princess look. I'm also getting some contour cream on the sides of my lips. And then I'm gonna get a turquoise aqua paint and start painting on Moana's beautiful necklace. The one that her grandmother gave her that's one of my all-time favorite characters in the movie. The grandma that shows her the way of the heart of Tefiti, that she could use this necklace as a locket to store the green stone. So you really wanna make sure you get this to look just like 
the real necklace with some blue aqua paint and then some silver cream paint that looks like real silver metal before getting some brown aqua paint with a very thin brush and then painting the rest of the detail of the necklace. The necklace has some rope detailing on it, so you really want to make sure that this is accurate and detailed to go around and sit on the parts of your neck where a necklace would naturally sit. And you can get a blow dryer to make sure this is completely dry. Before moving on to the other steps, using white cream paint to paint in the gorgeous beads of this necklace. And then I'm going to get some glitter pigment on my finger and just tap that on the necklace to make it sparkle. Then getting some black matte eyeshadow with a very thin brush to outline the stone of the necklace and the necklace strings itself. Now it's time to paint on Moana's costume. I'm gonna get some orange aqua paint and paint her strapless top. That's this beautiful rich orange color. Make sure it's very pigmented. And when it dries, you wanna get some brown cream paint to do all the designs that are very intricate on her top. You really wanna look at the reference picture for this. Please do not do any type of silly symbols on this beautiful outfit. We do not want to appropriate any culture. And then we want to get some white cream paint again with a brush to paint the beads that are strapped to her top. Also getting some white cream paint to stipple on texture and highlights to make this material look a little more realistic. And after we are done painting her beautiful outfit, I am going to get Moana's wig. This is one of my all-time favorite wigs I have ever worn. It is so gorgeous. And after that is on and situated, we are finally done with our Moana from Motonui, Disney's new Polynesian princess. She is so gorgeous. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so excited that Disney is finally showing some diversity. I have family and friends that are Polynesian and Hawaiian. Even if the movie isn't totally accurate, just seeing their culture in a positive light is just so rewarding for children to see. I love that they didn't make her eyebrows super thinned out and they left it natural and that she doesn't have like red lipstick and it is all about family and culture and her grandma again is one of my favorite people in the whole movie. But now it is time to transform back into myself away from the sea. I hope I did Moana justice because that movie is so great. I love the stingrays. I love the family history, the scenery. I love Maui, just everything. Thanks again for hanging out with me and enjoying today's video. All the products I use in this video will be listed down below in the description box. Leave me a comment down below on what other princess you would love to see Disney take on in the future without hopefully destroying the culture and history behind it. I would love to see a Disney princess from Japan. They did Chinese with Mulan, but I would love to see my family and my culture of Japan in a Disney princess. That would be so great and magical. Me and myself being Japanese, I would love to hear your ideas. Leave a comment down below. You can subscribe for more videos like this, of body painting, makeup effects, transformations, and there's some beauty makeups to come. It's great talking to you guys again. See you soon. Bye.